traditional Japanese ryokan and apparently old Japanese homes the bathroom is separated to the toilet compartment and actually like a bathroom where you have the bathtub but look what this one does <laughs> It's so weird, right? The V day, the toilet just opens by itself when I just like go in front of it. It's a little creepy. And then there's gonna be like a little sink here area. And then, actually, so it's like separated. So now you have like the bathroom compartment. So you have another sink here. And if you come in here, look. You have a really nice bathtub and then like sort of like traditional Japanese like stool and stuff But I think it's really cool. I think this is a really good idea when you're like making your house because Actually, then you don't need to smell other people's poops <laughs> If you have separated toilet and bathtub So I think maybe if I want to like make my own house, maybe I would want this like separated compartment or something But yeah, I thought that was interesting and also So we came in from there and then this is the big room Ta -da! So messy But this is like traditional Japanese ryokan So it's like traditional Japanese style and then it's like tatami mat and then we're actually at Arashiyama, which is like one of the most popular places in Kyoto and it used to be a popular place for like Japanese royal families to come here and have like vacation and holidays so you're gonna see a really nice view it's like nighttime right now so I, we can't really show you the outside but you can see like the whole river the most popular river it's like Katsuragawa but we'll show you when it's like morning tomorrow but yeah when we came in we got like green tea and then some biscuits and everyone was wearing kimono and going like hi it's so nice but yeah I think definitely you should like try the Japanese traditional atmosphere in Ryokan when you come to like Kyoto like, they like prepare these very thick blankets for you and then they get you this kind of yukata ta -da, as your pajamas so if you want to really experience sort of like the Japanese traditional feel I think definitely you should st stay at a Ryokan not like a Western hotel it's all like a really nice experience, like really different from a Western experience. Yeah! <laughs>